welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an introduction for a brand new project pan. I know I'm doing a ton right now, I'm crazy. But Steph roped me into it, so here we are. If you don't know Steph, I will link her channel in the description box down below. But this project is actually the hashtag roulette pan collab that has been going around for ages now that was created by Rebecca and Alexi. Again, their channels will be in the description box down below. And I will link the spreadsheet of like all the prompts and stuff so that if you guys want to join in, you have all the information that you need to be able to join that in. I believe this round is round eight, but the information will be in the title, so I'll research that before I upload this video. With this project, it's a rolling project, so you pick six items, and you have a list of 100 categories, you roll your random numbers, and you pick six, and then when you finish one, you pick another random number from that spreadsheet, and then you pick another one from the categories, and then, you, so you always have six items going at any one go. So I'm just gonna roll six numbers, and I'm using the pretty random app to do that. So I'm just gonna... Four. 26. 86. 80. 75. And the last one, 24. So I'm gonna go away and find out what categories those are and then I'll show you my items and then we can come back. Okay, so I have picked my items. I have my notebook here, so if I'm looking like over here, then that's why. The first number I rolled was four and for that I had to pick something that was a dupe, either in a shade or a particular product. And for that, I'm gonna pick an eyeshadow from the Makeup, Obs Makeup Obsession Squeeze Me palette. These little nine pan palettes are supposed to be dupes for the Colourpop monochromatic palettes that are going round. So I think that I want to hit pan on... These are brand new, by the way, so it doesn't really matter what shade I pick. I'm just thinking about what I'd get use out of, what I can hit pan on, so that we'd be able to keep rolling the products rather than putting in something that's going to take forever to pan. I think I'm going to go with this shade here, Smooth. It is a kind of peachy brown transition kind of shade, but I think that's going to be the easiest thing to pan and then we can reach for something else as and when that time arises but that's what that one looks like. So that is my first item. The next one was number 26 and that was a favourite product, like your favourite beauty product basically. And my favourite beauty related products are nail polishes. 100% hands down my favourite. So I have picked a nail polish. This is just a pink Viva nail polish. I don't know if pink is the shade, if Viva's the shade, it's got a 22 on the bottom, 22 could be the shade. This was just gifted to me and I'm unsure about the branding or anything like that, but this is where we are starting there. I know I just said my favorite things are nail polishes and I'm not actually wearing any. That's because I'm painting my hallway right now and I didn't want to waste a manicure on painting the hallway, so that's that. The next one was number 86 and for that it was your most expensive eyeshadow palette and my most expensive eyeshadow palette is this. This is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. I haven't reached for this since I bought it so I'm happy that I kind of rolled it in. This is £52 in the UK. I do have a Marc Jacobs palette but I think that was less than this because it's only one of the like £7 strip Marc Jacobs palette things. And for this one, I think I'm going to go with a shimmer. And I think I'm going to go with this shade right at the bottom all tied up because that looks like a nice inner corner color that I could get some use out of. I'm not panning anything that's inner cornery right at this point. I do have an inner corner shade in my pan that palette, but that's had pan on it forever. So it's time I give love to something else. And that is what that looks like. That is really pretty actually. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that one. Again, just tip pan on that. The next one was a product that was passed on to you and for that I picked this. This is the Revolution Beauty Pore Blur Blur and Prime Primer. I imagine this is the same texture as like the Professional and the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore thing that they did. This has been discontinued so I want to use it before it goes bad because this is old. This was passed on to me by David's sister because she got it in like a free gift thing and she has dry skin and then when she she realized what it was and what it does. She was like, nope, can't be dealing with that. So she passed it on to me. And so yes, I have barely even like swatched this on my skin. So this is brand, brand new. So I will not mark it to start off with, but start marking it once I've actually got some use out of it. 
The next one was 75 and that was an old cult classic and for that I picked this. This is a Maybelline Colour Sensational lipstick in the shade 630 Velvet Beige. This, I feel like these Colour Sensational lipsticks were all the rage back in the day because I was desperate to pick one up when I first started watching YouTube so I know that I learned about it from that and I love this lipstick and I just, it's starting to go bad and I want to just finish it up now basically. That's what that looks like. It's the perfect lipstick for the time of year that we're going into so so I just, uh, yeah, I want to get it done. I will measure it against the paper so that we have something to compare to next time round, but I'll do that after this video. And the last item was number 24, and that one was someone else's pick. So I text Erin and asked her to pick an item that she knew was in my collection, didn't tell her what it was for. She's probably really confused. Yep, yeah, she's really confused, but yeah. So that is what I said to her. And if you can see, she said to pick the Revolution highlighter, the pink and yellow one with the drips on it and that is this. So I want to hit pan on this shade here. This one I've already been working on a previous project pan so I feel like this is something that is actually possible whereas this one would be brand new and less possible on hitting pan in this project. So I want to hit pan on this one. And that's everything. That's my introduction for this project. I want to say thank you to Rebecca and Alexi once again for going ahead with this project, for keeping them going. It's been going for ages now. You guys are incredible. And thank you to Steph for roping me in. And also thank you to Erin for being a special guest star in my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.